Good afternoon. Nice to see you back. Maybe can you just start off with what the last couple of weeks has been like for you, Brock? Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't great. <laughs> uh, obviously, quarantined five days in the States and then came back. And I think there's a lot of miscommunication on what was agreed on and what actually happened. And quarantine another five days and they still want us guys to quarantine more. I know the other guys are still stuck until Wednesday, so I feel really bad for them. Um, it's just a really crappy scenario. What was the, you, you sound frustrated. What was the misinformation Brock? Maybe clear it up for us. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just frustrating because, you know, us guys quarantine like we're supposed to. And then, um, you know, we, I think, I'm not sure exactly who talked to the government and told us we got the okay to only quarantine another five days. So that's 10 days total. And now the government made the guys quarantine another 10. So um, that's 15 days total for those guys. So, I mean, it's, it's not, um, I don't think that's really great for them. And um, you know, it's just a really crappy scenario. Like I said, <laughs> Up is Ben Kuzma, Post Media. Uh, hey, Brock, a couple from me. Uh, let, let's start in Anaheim. Uh, what do you do uh, in five days of isolation? I mean, obviously, you're confined to the hotel room. What were you able to do? How did you uh, keep yourself sane and maybe a little bit fit? What were you able to do in, in Anaheim in those five days, Brock? Um, I think, uh, you know, just being in so many um different uh quarantine situations over the past couple of years i think that you just got to find a routine you like when you wake up you know kind of what you do and i feel once you find routines then you just follow that routine like wake up breakfast maybe do a little workout what you can do in there and you know then watch a show or take a nap and then you know wait until the boys game at night um and just Luckily, when we, I was in there for five days, the boys played three of the night, so that really helped. Just kind of buy time until the game's on, and then, you know, it's nighttime and bed bedtime at, um, at that point. And, you know, obviously watch a lot of shows. I got an Xbox delivered to the hotel, so I played some golf. The Wi-Fi wasn't great, so I couldn't play Fortnite, but uh, I definitely bought some time. You know, Brock, in, in dealing with your agent, uh, he expressed as much frustration as you. I mean, you did your five days. You took the flight to Vancouver. Uh, was it your, were you of the mind that, listen, there, there's this 10-day NHL quarantine, and that's what we're trying to abide by here. And there's the border services. There's another agency that looks after quarantine, and then you have the federal government. Uh, is, is that what was frustrating for you and probably your agent? You're dealing with different bodies and getting mixed messages? Yeah, I mean, I think it was agreed upon almost everyone except the federal government is what I know. And I mean, it's frustrating, you know, I mean, everyone knows that 15 days is way too long for someone that's had COVID, especially when, you know, the quarantine has been reduced to five days for almost everyone. So, um, you know, it's just really frustrating for sure. And um, you know, like us guys wouldn't have flown back if, if we knew that situation was going to happen we'd all stayed in the state so like i said i feel terrible for the guys that are still locked up we'll go next to thomas grant at the athletic hey brock just curious now that you guys are all back on the other side of the border did what you and and jason and justin all sort of experienced from the from the last trip like does that color the experience of this southeastern trip is that in the back of everyone's minds now as you go through the next eight days uh sorry could what do you mean by that just in terms of the i mean testing positive on that side of the border oh, as a yeah, player yeah, yeah. based in canada is a totally different stakes game than i mean testing I, positive up here yeah i think i think if anyone tests positive now they're stuck here for 14 days i mean because no one wants to be in that situation again um you know even if you test positive here you're out after five days and you can fly somewhere where you can skate and you can skate until you're allowed back in i mean no one wants to go back and and be stuck there in quarantine for that long so 
Um, you know, unless there's something that's actually approved upon that's everyone knows that it's only going to be an extra five days or whatever, then I'm sure they'll come back. But if there's some gray area, I'm sure they're not going to make that same mistake again. Just, just from a player experience standpoint, Brock, like you guys have now competed through a pandemic for almost two years. You've done uh, a complete bubble in a, a prison yard in Edmonton. You've done, you know, the hour meals that were last season, but is this in some ways the most confusing, um, like sort of era of, of dealing with this? Yeah. I mean, you know, I think, just over the years, there's been, I just know that they worked with the government and everything a lot and, you know, figured everything out and, and, and then it gets reduced to five days and then we have almost 15 days total. I don't know. I think it's just kind of funny and it's, I think it's just, like you said, it's confusing and it's hard to understand, but that's just how it was. And, um, it sucks and it sucked and, Luckily, you know, I got to come back and I'm very grateful for that and really happy I got to, I'm back with the, the guys and be, being able to play tomorrow. So um, you know, that's a, a big positive. We'll take one more for Brock from Jeff Patterson, Rinkwide Podcast. Hey, Brock. Merry hey. Christmas. Happy New Year. It's been Thank a while. You, you too. Um, I, I want to ask you about momentum because you haven't played a game in a while, but I will ask you about confidence uh, and this layoff it's not like you were injured and you were rehabbing. As you said, there was a lot of downtime and idle time. You were playing so well and scoring goals before everything was halted here. Can you carry that confidence with you despite the layoff here? For sure. Um, I think, you know, I, I, I still have that feeling of, you know, I feel like I can score any game and, um, you know, it's a great feeling. And even in practice, I, I still feel like I have that confidence and kind of that swagger again. And, um, but, you know, just kind of basing off tomorrow. Um, I, I'm probably a little out of shape compared to the guys. I know they had a hard week of practice, and um, it just comes down to, I think, simplifying my game, having short shifts, and and really, you know, focusing on shooting the puck and, and working as hard as I can. And, um, you know, I think if I do that, I'll, I'll slowly start to feel better and better, and, and hopefully uh, I can con continue to uh, contribute to this team and help us win hockey games. You take them as they come at you one at a time. I know that. And you start with a really good Florida team. But this road trip, what, what, what might we learn about the Vancouver Canucks when you basically are running the gauntlet of the top teams in the National Hockey League? I think it's going to prove a lot to us as a team. And um, it's going to show a lot. Um, like you said, we're, we're facing some of the best teams in hockey this road trip, especially these first two games. So it's a, it's a big test for our group. But it's a test we need, I think, um, you know, we've been playing such good hockey and, you know, you want to, you want to play the best and beat the best. So um, I think we're all excited to, to be back together and get ready for these games. And, um, you know, we, we really have to be prepared for tomorrow and, and hopefully we can get, get some wins.